the Yemeni movement, the Yemeni women from all parties, from all affiliation, they have been united with no efforts and they're doing the things that the world is trying to do. My name is Kalkab Debani. I am a co-founder of Women for Yemen um, Network. I am a human rights activist, uh, mainly advocating for women's rights. After the takeover of Sana'a, uh, our house was raided by the Houthi group. And then I have to immediately leave with my kid outside to Istanbul. Because of our positions, our activism, we cannot go back to the country, which is very hard. As a woman in exile, we have our, our unique challenges. As you see in 2011 uprising, women were the majority of the protesters. And unfortunately, not only in Yemen, it's in the globe that women's roles tend to be forgotten. The Yemeni women from all parties, from all affiliation, they have been able to unite and to call for their inclusion in peace. And they also, we can say, they are the winning card. And that's why I think if women are engaged, um, peace could, lasting peace could happen. As, like there is a concept that men with guns are very powerful, but I would say that Yemeni women are now the most powerful person, and they are taking the full responsibility domestically, financially, socially of the entire household. She is resilient and she's powerful. Stop like making her look like vulnerable and she needs help. And that's why um, we, as a group of women, have come and founded Women for Yemen uh, initiative. Sometimes they think that their values of democracy are already advanced and we in the, like for example in Yemen, we, we cannot reach that. And we have been rallying with other women groups about the, our rights. And we tell them we know better. <laughs>